Hey you guys, it's Clarissa the Gwoke Shields and right now I'm going to rewatch my MMA debut against Brittany Elkin. Walking out to the cage, I remember being super nervous, uh, telling myself to stay calm and you belong here. Um, my, my, my family never wanted me to do MMA. My mother, my sister, my brother, they were all like, don't do it, so they were super nervous too. But, um, you know, the Gwoke's going to do whatever she want to do, so I still signed my contract for the PFL and now we're here at the MMA debut. It's different between boxing because in boxing I, I, I get wrapped out, I got all my belts, I have an entourage, I have, my, I have my robe on, my shorts on, my shoes, and walking to the cage you got just yourself and you get to take your socks off, but you got on the bra and, and your fight gear and no shoes, it's completely different. Very invasive if you ask me. It's just two different sports. To me, it's apples and bananas. It's two different things. But um, definitely fighting with shoes off was a different experience, for sure. And like the cage was slippery. I think we were the co-main event or main event this fight and the slippery and the cage was slippery as hell. I'm still in the boxing stance. This fight was so long ago. I don't even stand like this no more when I fight. Was it like when you felt the, like the first kick land on your legs? I don't even think I felt it. No? I don't think I felt that kick. I was more of like, we knew she was going to do this. We knew she was going to do this. Like if I, can, if I can catch it or I can get back, get back. But I was still just trying to focus on landing my punches. I'm like, just don't get kicked in the face, but land, but land your shots. She was long, though. She was tall as ever. Long right hand. W working on straightening it out. But her kicks were not hard. They were just like out there to kind of just like discourage me from punching. So her kicks were just there, like just throw a kick. But once I hit her, I knew she felt those hits. Oh, first takedown. I remember this like yesterday. I was like, what do we do here? And I just remember like, look, you've been working on getting up the whole camp. I shook my head because my coach had said something. And I agreed, like, okay, I hear you. First thing first, like I'm looking. Until I was telling myself here, stay calm because you know how to get back up, just stay calm. I was already on the cage. She was really tight though. Her only goal was to just hold me down. That was her only goal. And I was trying to make myself not, oh, there we go, back up. And I think I went right back down after this. Oh, there she go trying to sweep the leg, get the leg loose. Race car track, spread the legs out wide so she can't get the takedown. I just remember me not knowing exactly here, I thought I fell on top of her. I started just trying to pound her. I should have disconnected, but I kept hitting her. And here we go, we're back on the ground again. Yep, back on the cage. <sighs> I think this probably was probably like the most uncomfortable part of the fight. Like here, she got to put my arm behind my back and try to clinch it down. And I just was like, what is she doing? But um, my whole thing was just making sure I can just get my arms back in control and um, just, figure out how to get back up, but Brittany was, Brittany was smart on the ground. Good body shot. I don't think I felt it though. Nice, nice, oh here she go, I'm trying to get my arm loose. She tried to stick my arm under her leg and I was like, not letting that happen. We can do a whole lot of stuff, but that's not gonna happen. Not a lot of damage was taken on the ground. Um, Brittany didn't really have like great punching power and um, this is the only thing we didn't work on in camp right here when she kept straightening my legs out that's what we did not work on we worked on having our legs always loose and getting up but I didn't understand like how I'm supposed to get up if she got my legs we never worked on I think that they called that the grapevine is what she was doing we never worked that so when I got surprised with that inside the fight it was kind of like I just had to learn on a job. Now also too, what she's trying to do right now with my arm, she's trying to bend it back in like a little Kimura or something like that. But we worked on constantly keeping the elbow down. So when the elbow was up, you can get caught in like a Kimura. So we kept making sure up in camp, we worked it down, worked it down. If I felt the arm coming up, just work it back down. Don't let her get control of the, of the elbow and try to choke me out up here. So that's why a lot of times you see like I had my hands under her. I'm trying to wrap my arms around her because it wasn't a whole lot of damage being being taken here. I, I knew she was working on the ground and trying to do what she do best, which is submit people. You know, this girl is a brown belt. Um, 
And we also knew too that with her height, she would come in a Taekwondo stance, you know, very high up, throwing low kicks and having a high guard. We already knew that before the fight. Oh, this the arm bar? Or she was trying to get it. Yes, yeah, she was trying to get the arm bar, felt it. One thing you have to do in MMA is never give them your back and always protect yourself. So when I felt her going for the arm bar, like, like, look at this, those little punches. I mean, I'm like such a scrapper. I was moving my head on the ground. I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing her by the waist. I'm pushing her down, still making sure we not, we not letting her get any type of submission. We not letting her, we had worked so hard at camp on this stuff, but like I said, the, the whole leg thing she was doing threw me for a loop first round. How much longer left in this, in this round? Not a lot of damage was taken, a whole lot of scrambling. And you know what? You see how fast I jumped up and how she was just kind of like, she was exhausted from holding me down. I'm a big, strong girl. You can't just hold me on the ground. And um, she was using all her might, all her power, trying to keep me on the ground. But I'm back in the corner. Kept telling myself, stay calm. Um, it's the first round that we expected. Like, I was looking forward to actually being taken down just so I could feel it in a real fight. I remember second round, I'm like, going here, and we know we're going back to the ground again, but let's land some punches before she take you down. That was my whole mindset. In this fight, I'm always thinking about what I can, what I can do to land my punches. I was just like, I have to get the right punch and I have to discourage her from doing what she want to do. Nice punches, staying away from her, landing my shots. All she wanted to do was just be, like, connected. Even that kick there, I was on the move. Like, I don't remember feeling too many kicks from her. Like, I knew that them punches was hurting. Okay, sprawl. Great sprawl there. Only thing I did wrong here was that. Once I got disconnected from her, I should have got up. Tried to kick her, tried to get up. Oh, no, here she comes. Oh, shit, here we go. Now, she had, this is right here called, uh, side control right now that she's in. Side control can be more damaging than somebody having a full amount on you. People don't know that, but from me training, I've I realized that I would rather somebody be in full mount than be in side control. Cause you see what she can do with her legs up there? If she wants to get my arm and wrap it around. But I wonder is the arm bar coming here? What I was thinking back right here was just get back to the cage. And see, I was so I was so, uh, so such, such a novice here because I let her get that full mount. All I had to do was put my knee up and she wouldn't have got that full mount. Once again, Brittany Elkin with the weak ass punches from, from up top. <sighs> Once again, no damage. <laughs> but I mean, but you see how the elbow is up? That's a mistake right there. That's a mistake. See, I got the elbow. I'm trying to get the elbow down in between me and her, I'm trying to get my elbow below her head. See, it's up there. She's trying to choke me right now. But I'm still like, you know what? She wasn't doing something right. I don't know what it was, but they're going to bump. I almost had her over, but I stopped because I felt like when I was bumping her over that she would have got behind me, and I wasn't really familiar with the jujitsu from working in front of behind. Like, I could work this right here. Like, I'm comfortable with this. Weak-ass punches once again. I don't even know if she was landing anything right here. But she keep going for that. She keep going for that Kamara right there. She's trying to choke my arm. But what I'm doing, oh, champ is staying calm. Champ bumping her. Big mistake right here, you never have a flat back on your back. Pick a side. I know that now from having three fights in MMA. Flat back, you're never going to get up. You're never going to get up. You have to pick a side. You have to push your knee down. You have to get the underhook and either flip her over or get all the way back to the cage. I know that now, but first fight, no idea. I'm trying to turn her, and all she keep doing is grabbing my feet, straightening my legs out. That's called the great bond. She did that the whole fight. But like I said, she's using so much energy trying to hold me down. And make no mistake about it, I'm landing punches from the bottom. I'm punching if we're on the ground. I'm punching if we're on the cage. I'm just punching. I'm punching her in the body some whenever I feel a free lick coming in. But look at this. Look, look at what she's doing. Look, look at those. Oh, blocked. Blocked. She's using so much energy trying to hold me down. It's crazy. Oh, I almost was out. Almost was out. Didn't know what to do with my arm. So, oh, I think, is this the arm bar part? She's trying to get full amount on watching her. See, like, like, look at the head movement on the ground. Look at the head movement on the ground. Like, that stuff only a boxer would do. 
I think regular MMA fighters are trying to sit there like, oh, she's on top of me. I got to let her ground and pound me. It's like, no, damage is damage. And I did not take a lot of damage from Brittany. Not, not in this fight by far. And do you think that that's, that that's something that any boxer transitioning over is going to face where they're just going to try and hold you around because they don't want to eat punches from you? Absolutely. Every girl, no girl game plan has been to stand up with me. You know, if that's their game plan, they have a bad coach. On it. They, if their game plan stand up with me, like I'm the best female boxer in the world, if your game plan is to stand up and fight with me, absolutely wrong game plan. But, you know, some of these girls have, oh, I think this is going to arm bar. She tried to get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and we worked on this. Flipped her, got my arm loose. Punch her up. I remember this like yesterday. So now coach was yelling disconnect, but I was like, hell no. Coach was saying, let her go, get back up. I'm like, no, I'm finna cause some damage. That shot behind the ear, these shots hurt. This is how you ground and pound somebody right here. This is how you ground and pound them. Like, when I got up, look at, look at how slow she's getting up. I'm like, get the hell off me. I'm, 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 I'm going back to my corner. She's still having a slow time getting up. She was hurt. When I got back to the corner, I had knew. Hey, we caused some damage, even though we spent most of the time on our back, she she wasted way more energy than what I wasted. And I knew I was in great shape for this fight. Last round, coach said, go out there and show me Clarenzo and sprawl when he's supposed to sprawl. When he said that, he said, the girl's doing a lazy takedown of you. Sprawl, sprawl, disconnect, and let and get back to letting your hands go. Only thing I was worried about was I was like, I know I'm a better fighter than this girl. I just don't want to lose. So. I've lost the first two rounds, so my only thought was a hey, catcher and put her lights out right here. Bow! That shot right there, the one I was waiting on. Oh, here she go with the sprawl. Oh, get the leg back. Get the leg back. Have some determination. Don't just give it up. Sprawling, sprawling, sprawling. There we go. Get the leg back. Get the leg back. Coach is yelling disconnect right here. But right now, I'm choking her. She can't breathe right there. She gasping for air. I'm holding her down. She, oh, trying to get connected from the leg. Oh, jump up. Uppercut. That's the first shot. Here go the second one. Now we grounding and pounding her. Oh, oh, just hitting her. She don't know what to do. She don't know what to do here. I'm talking about I'm so strong from up there. It was like, I'm about to make you pay for holding me down that whole time. Here we go. She keeps trying to go for the leg. And I didn't, and it, she was actually, she was trying to flip me on my back. And coach was telling me to disconnect from her. But I'm like, no, I'm going to hold her down. And when I feel like she getting some power to get up, I'm going to, I'm gonna get up. But she's going for the leg. I still had the leg. Even right here. She tried to flip me back down. Nope, I got big hips. I'm about to flip you right back over. Look at this. She tried to flip me. I felt it. Pushing on her head, trying to figure out what to do here. I feel like I, when I kept scooting my knees up, it gave me more power. So, oh, here we go. She's on her back. It's over. It's over. It's done here. It's over. She can't fight back. Oh, punch her on the other side. Oh, flip it right, right, right back down. Oh, 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 those, those big shots hurt. Give up. Give up. And the ref called it. Because I'm one of the biggest punchers in women's boxing, and I have the determination I can do anything that I put my mind to. But I was too tired to jump on the cage, as you can see. I was supposed to jump up there and get my victory shot, but I was too tired. My little brother was so nervous. He's on his phone texting, but... He, my little brother wanted to cry. Now that part, my mama did raise a dog. My mama was a great fighter when she was coming up, street fighter, and my mama didn't want me to do MMA. So winning in front of her made me really happy. I'm like super emotional right now. I'm like super emotional right now. I remember it's like yesterday, it's so funny. Look at my little brother, he like, yeah. Urgh. There we go, that's my little brother right there.